It's another Wednesday hump day pour. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I want to work on a large canvas, a 24 by 30 canvas. And I want to play, I'm having a lot of fun swiping with my um, uh, titanium white and Austrian, Australian Floatrol mix. Um, so I think what I want to do today is a couple of flip cups again and do a little dragging and then I'll swipe through with the Australian Floatrol and Titanium White, create some good lacing. I'm hoping I would like to leave some negative space. Um, a lot of times, a lot of my color choices tend to be a little darker. So I'm going to use a white base, hopefully leave some negative space to keep things nice and bright. So let's get down on the canvas. Let's start painting and let's see what happens. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm working on a big canvas today. I've got me a 24 by 30. I got a taped and push pinned on the back. Um, I want to work on doing another piece, leaving some negative space. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swipe with my um, titanium white from Amsterdam and Australian Flow Drop. So real quick, <clears throat> I am using the Azo Orange, nice, beautiful color. I'm using a combination of the turquoise green with the aqua green, Amsterdam turquoise green and the aqua green from Liquitex, or excuse me, Artist Loft. And the colors are mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium, Floatrol, no water. My other color I'm using is Golden's Payne's Gray. Love Payne's Gray, nice and blue. I'm using Titanium White in the pour as well. And then I am going to use up maybe some of this leftover gray. It's like a little, a gunmetal gray. We can plan to do flip cups. So let's put a little white here in the bottom. going to start off some orange. Turquoise. Pains. A little bit of gray, not much. Just come right back in there and do the same thing. There's one. So let's do the exact same thing with that. Could have done them at the same time. Ooh, there's a lot of orange going in first. Oops. So the first cup, 
I'm gonna put it right here. One, one, two, and three. Oh, what a messy flip. And the second one I'm gonna put right here next to it. One, two, three. I'm just gonna drag this along as I lift up. Same thing here. All right, I'm gonna give us a little torch here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my uh, palette knife here, my spatula, and I am going to put Australian uh, titanium white Australian flow trawl on the back, and I am going to swipe through both of these um, pores. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt my Australian flow trawl here on the back, let it drip off, and then I'm going to swipe through. Start down here, lightly press, and just glide through. lightly and I'm gonna go up through the center back around and off Got enough paint, but what I am gonna do is put some on the corners here. Loving what's happening in these cells area. It's beautiful, dragon-like, scaly, looking cool. But I am gonna go off this end, I think, first. Bring it back and then come back this way and then I'll go this way. Reason being is because I got so much nice color here, this is looking a little muddy at the top, so we're gonna get rid of that. Let's see if I can manhandle this this way.
try not to lose my orange on the corner here. Too much anyways. Now that that has gotten swiped through, that broke that up a little bit. Love all of this. This is just some great lacing. Got some huge cells popping up. Just great. All right guys, here we are with the wet result. So off camera, I scraped the uh, white negative space up there on the left hand side. And because the colors where the tilting was happening was sh uh, showing through the white. So I wanted that to be more just solid white, but I turned the camera off to do that. So um, I'll show you when I bring you in here. So right through here, you could really see a bunch of color under the white. So I just scraped it all off and then re-poured some white on there. All right, let's see this dry. I'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are with the dried result. This, let me bring you in here.
right, guys, that's going to do it. I am really happy with this piece. I know it's a large piece, so I probably won't be able to get all of it in the film here, into the screen, but really, really cool. It's a little wet still drying up there at the top, but everything else is pretty dry. Um, so happy. I mean, look at that lacing with this. Just really, really cool. I love the color choices. It's so beautiful. So um, definitely going to need some sort of top coat, whether it be gloss varnish or resin. It's going to really make this pop. But I love working on a 24 by 30 canvas. Uh, just gives you a lot of room, a lot of uh, wiggle room to tilt things out so you get a great composition. So thanks everyone for tuning in i really appreciate your support i will see you in the next video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell if you're not already subscribed to my channel that'll let you know when i do post new video content all right everyone have a great day i'll see you on uh sunday bye-bye